Who's aggressively walking in this basement? God damn it. I hope it's not my father's blood. What does he want from me? Who the hell are you? Stay back. God's sake. <laughs> Jesus! Emma, you scared the crap out of me. Okay, you can open the door. The basement, not so much. Oh, what a lovely horse. <laughs> oh no. Now it's in the way. <laughs> Can we fill the lamp, open your inventory, and look for a bottle of kerosene? Okay. Oh, it doesn't fill all the way up? That sucks. I'm sure that won't come back to bite me, just always having the lamp open. Who's aggressively walking in this basement? God damn it. That's creepy. Keep you right there, bud. I have to get in there. Whatever happened, I hope it's not my father's blood. I hope it's not my father's blood. Am I delusional? <laughs> what the hell is that? Looks like. I need to get rid of them before I leave the basement. Maybe I can find something to cut those roots with here. Ooh, that was good. Has someone gone through my briefcase? Creepy. Damn it, someone must have torn out the rest of the pages. Oh, hell yeah, brother. I am hard as a rock. Strange. I was in the attic and... I'll show the diary to Emma. She might find it interesting. Honey, you won't believe what I found it. Hey, Emma? Can you hear me? Emma? I was calling you before, but you wouldn't even answer. Where have you been? I was snooping around the attic. I found this... The power is out, by the way. Diary? W what A fuse must have blown. Be a darling, go to the basement, and fix it before it gets dark. This place needs a lot of work. The sooner we start, the better. I don't have to tell you that, do I? Why is she being mean? What's her problem? She sounded like I took a piss on a mother flower bed. I need a flashlight. It's so damn dark in the basement. Maybe I can find one in the attic. There's a lot of junk in there. Adam, our dear son, this house belonged to our family for decades. Some have called it Stevenson's Refuge. 
But when me and your dad moved to Boston, we thought Grandpa's just going to sell it. We, we would. Well, we didn't. Surprisingly, he left it first in his will. And now you and your lovely wife will live here. Raise your kids and simply enjoy life as far away from the turmoil over dangerous times. I can't even imagine a better place to settle down. P.S. Dad thinks you should... Dad thinks he should be the one come up with the name of your son or daughter. Oh, it's a flashlight? Okay. Sweet. <gasps> God's sake. <laughs> that bloody horse statue got me. This horse will haunt me in my dreams. Yeah, probably. What are you looking at? There's some fresh air for your rude shit attitude, lady. Hey, a bungalow. And a pond? This place is fucking rad. It could be a little haunted. I'd live here. I'd get along with all the ghosts. Dude, I would live here for the rest of my life. Oh. oh, there is a jump. I was like, fucking, let's just jump. So, how the fuck do I get in the shed? Uh oh. I just stick, get myself stuck. Yep. Looks like I certainly did get myself stuck. Covered in blood. It looks fresh. How did it get here? Why would Emma bring my old stuff from the office here? Hmm. Fizz. Jesus! Emma, you scared the crap out of me. Okay, you can open the door. Emma? Honey? not right. Maybe the localizer will show me just what's happened here. Wait, what did they say in training? To equip the device, localizer allows you to detect electromagnetic and quantum traces, quantum clouds. This icon informs you that a cloud is near. Huh. If I remember correctly, this prototype device can be used to detect traces of a person's presence from the past. All I need is to be in a strong field of quantum particles, and with a little bit of luck and science, I'll be able to see a silhouette of the person who was here in a different time. I should follow the localizer. The green lines at the edge of the screen show the direction to go, and the numbers the distance to the nearby cloud.
This is the place. Now I need to use the pulse to show the cloud, and I need to scan it. The signal must be coming from this place. Now I just have to use the scanner on this cloud. Use the device to scan a cloud from the left mouse button. The localizer found something. Someone has been here. It looks like he left the rest of the clothes here. All covered in blood. I'll try to find more traces. It doesn't look good. I have to find out what happened here. The fuse is missing. Some clothes are lying all covered in blood and a trace of a person near the shed. It's all looking very strange. Maybe it's all about the stress. On the other hand, I have to be certain that we're safe. I should use the pulse to make the quantum cloud visible, otherwise I won't see a thing. I'm at the source, but I can't read anything. The interference is too strong. It must be caused by an anomaly nearby. I should neutralize it. Uh, cloud scan is stable, and their readability may be affected by anomalies in the space you must destroy them. All find anomalies in your surroundings. You can make it easier by using your mouse button. Destroy and only hit with EMP charge fire from the device. It's the fire on the highlighting area should be open. There's the anomaly. Now I have to charge the localizer and hit it with a beam. That should do it. I'm to stabilize the cloud. I did it. Clearly someone was here recently and used this rope. I'll try to find more traces. The localizer has detected a signal. That means another quantum cloud must be near. So much blood and it's not even dry yet. Whatever happened here, it hasn't been long. The trail leads through that gate. I'll go check it out. Clearly drag something heavy through that gate. Blood hasn't dried yet. I'll follow its trail. Maybe someone needs help. Damn it! Closed. Just closed. like something or someone is hanging in there. Is that... <laughs> Fuck! This thing scared the shit out of me. This is Logan Ball Simulator? The detected before I go in.
hunting knife. Someone must have used it recently and tried to hide it there. I'll take it, just in case. Time to go back to the barn. Maybe I can find a sign on this. I need to try to get inside. On this. This wasn't just some poacher, more like a fucking sadistic hunter. <laughs> Wait, that beeping. It's as if it's coming from the inside. The animal is hung up on a rope. Maybe I can get up there and cut it down. This is sick. I think I'm gonna puke. Why would you use your hands? Just use your knife and dig around in there, dude. What's all this equipment? And why was it in... Fuck, what if the Soviets sent someone to follow us? Well, there is the fuse. So the fucker who gutted the animal has also been in our house. In our basement. If this isn't a threat, then I don't know what is. At least I've got the goddamn fuse. Time to go to the basement and turn the power back on. I don't like this. Someone's butchered a deer and the evidence suggests that sick fuck has been in our house. Yeah, man. You know who also is in the house right now? Emma. She's probably dead, dude. I remember back in the day, some twisted kids in the area played with the occult. But I don't think this could have been them. Besides, the equipment that was inside it looked military grade. Clearly, the locals make new neighbors feel welcome. I just hope they don't mistake us with turkeys on Thanksgiving. Power's back on, I guess. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe it's no big deal. Maybe I've just been reading too much Poe. Well, my job here is done. I better go back under Emma's thumb, considering her mood swing. And it's only the third month. What's it gonna be like by the ninth? Boom! Jesus, woman! <laughs> you want me to have a heart attack? Cool, huh? Wonder if some magician used to live here. Sure, Harry fucking Houdini. <laughs> Maybe he's never gotten out of that hat. Actually, where did you find it? I just read about one like this. Upstairs. Now watch carefully. <laughs> if it's a rabbit, I want it for dinner and stew. Ta-da! Clever. You think you can sugarcoat the work for me with magic? 
Where do we start? Sometime later. Box full of cash. Darling, do I really have to remind you what the doctor said? Uh, you've done it plenty of times already, but really, I don't have to sit idle all the time. Still, in your condition. It's not critical. I'm just pregnant, remember? We're fine. Scanning. Bitch detected. Where's the fucking pink dildo? If I can't help dildo? you, I'll test you with questions. Have they called you from work yet? Mm, no. And did you give them our new number? Honey, it's the government. They even know the angle you're tilting your head at. Ugh. Gives me the creeps. Ever thought about doing something other than, you know, cryptanalysis? I mean, before you joined the CIA? Like what? Like, um, something that doesn't come with being responsible for millions of lives. Some job without all the spies, agents, and double agents lurking behind your back? Without the constant feeling that you can't trust anyone? Um, not really. Besides, I can trust you, right? Right? What are you staring at? Can you move that piece of furniture? There's something behind it. Okay, well, this is going to be it for part one. Good cliffhanger. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.